Hey everyone, it's Kevin at KW's Disc Golf. That's kwsdiscgolf.com. Um, today we're looking at the new Prodigy BP3 small backpack bag. Um, supposedly going to be very affordable. I think it's already on the market. I'm about a week late because, or at least a week late because we were on vacation forever, which is nice. But we're back. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the BP3. There's four colors. There's a dark blue, like this one. There's a silver or gray, I'm not sure what they're going to want to call it, silver or gray, red, and a black. Now, the price point on these is supposedly 30 bucks, maybe like 30 plus shipping, whatever, but which would be just an amazing price point, actually. But it is a small bag, and that's all you can expect from it. So it comes with, inside the bag, comes with standard like U-channel and dividers. And I sat here screwing around with it for a while trying to figure out how it goes in. And there it kind of, it's not definitely not form fitted for this bag. It's not designed for this bag. It's really weird. I mean, if you put it in like you would kind of expect front to back, like so, you're not even going to be able to see this on the video what I'm doing, but um, turn on the old flashlight here. Phone light. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see, but we'll see if we can do it like this. The flap. I don't know. It just doesn't fit that way. And if you do it this way, which would allow the dividers to go in this way, so your discs. I mean, typically you would, you would immediately think your discs are going to sit this way because that's how every backpack bag has been. That Well, every standard, I should say. They're obviously vertical storage ones, but you got your dividers, so you would put them in this way. But wait. All right, let's get that in there. There, there's your divider. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Look how nasty that is. It's down in there, Velcroed in. It sticks out the top. So obviously, I mean, these, none of this was designed for the BP3. I don't know what's going on with it. It'd probably be way better off without it. Oh, maybe if I go like that. All right, hold on a second, hold on. We're getting that, we're getting somewhere. I have a tendency to jump the gun on what I say. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere now. If I angle them pretty big, that's getting somewhere. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm all like in the way. All right, I actually got it to work. But I mean, the 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 U channel does not form to the bottom of the bag whatsoever. I mean, none of this is U channel. I mean, so it doesn't add any structure. None of this U channel. The U channel is basically only like that much of the bottom of the bag. Definitely loose in there, doesn't attach to anything, flops around. Okay, so that's something that I definitely don't like about the bag. It's definitely not made for the BP3, the U channel. But we did get it in there, kind of. Um, you can see the, uh, I'm sure they can be messed around, but you can see how there's a big fold or bend to the center center things to uh, get them to fit in there. But that's neither here nor there. That can be adjusted, I'm sure, somehow, even though nothing fits. So that's that. That's how the bags come. I usually set bags up when I ship them out. But I don't know if I'm going to set these up because the U-channel is so messed up. You might decide to use it without the U-channel. So let's take a look at the outside of the bag. Nice. Feels like a nice uh, material. Um, of course, I could be prepared to see if they actually say what the material is and I'm not prepared to we will I'll read you the uh, I drag this video out forever I'll read the uh, 
description. Prodigy BP3 sets a new standard for lightweight and compact. With all the necessary features of a great disc golf bag, the BP3 can carry up to 17 discs, has a deep putter pocket, water bottle holder, side zipper pocket for valuables, and reinforced padded straps. Great bag at the best price. All right. So, let's take a look at the straps. Lighting is terrible. I replaced a light bulb and apparently it is way less wattage of the one I put in there, but whatever. You've got nice padding strips in the middle of your back on both sides here. Um, definitely feels like good padding. Straps, not a bad width, um, pretty much almost uh, just very minimal padding on the straps themselves. Not bad. I mean, I felt worse, and I've obviously felt better. But you know, you got to remember price point. I mean, you're gonna get what you pay for. And so far, it's looking like a pretty darn decent bag for the price. I mean, there's nothing in this price range except for maybe like the Magellan, which is the hokiest bag out there. I mean, extremely cheap brakes, everything from what my customers have said, so I don't even carry them anymore. But, all right, side pocket, dive in there. Just a normal side pocket, not deep, not wide or anything. We'll hold, uh, definitely hold some stuff, cell phone, couple snacks, um, wallet, whatever you wanna throw in there. This side has drink holder. Drink holder. Um, it's got loose top on it, which is pull tie or whatever. Um, grommeted uh, drain in the bottom. Another side pocket. Smaller. Actually, will actually goes behind the water bottle holder. So it's actually not too bad of a size when you get something behind there. Their zippers are the their typical water resistant style zipper that they have on the BP1s. Um, the top pocket, which they're saying is a putter pocket. Alright. Main, main compartment, which we've already took a look at. Let's uh, cram some discs in here and see what happens. Alright. Alright. How about couple putters up top. Alright, we're going to load this up first before putters because that did not go good. How about, here's four drivers. Here's four more drivers. Stick them up over there. So that's eight drivers. How about four mid-ranges. Four mid ranges there. About a couple of backup putters here, maybe your driving putter and your whatever. A couple more drivers. Let's just keep loading it until we get full. More drivers. Alright, I bet we can fit, actually fit a couple more in there. We're at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, we're at 18, and definitely can fit a couple more, so let's put a couple more. Driver. What about over here? Oop, we got tight it's pretty quick there. I don't know if I'd want to cram another one. Yeah, it's tight. Two, four, there's four drivers, four mids. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more drivers and two putters. And the main, there's that. Alright, putter pocket up top. Putter pocket up top. Okay, there's two. I don't know if we'll zip up with two. No, I don't think it, I don't know if it's meant to zip up with putters in there. But there's definitely there's two in there. Floppy. What about three? Put three in there? Oh, alright. Right. There's three putters in the top. Okay. That's a lot of discs for a tiny bag. 
Um, one thing I didn't look at is the bottom. The bottom is like a kind of a vinyl in a way that does wrap up around the edge, around the edges. I don't know how durable this is going to be. No feet on it, which I mean is kind of not expected at this price point. But I mean I don't know. Nice handle up top here. That's very padded. Um, all heavily stitched. Let's uh, try this thing on. Bear with me while I try this on. I'm going to be out of camera view until I adjust the camera. There we go. Let's see if we can get better. We got to look. Okay, small bag. On camera, I don't know if they are what it's very light. Comes off, get your disc out, putter. Three putters is definitely a little tight in there, but it still fits in there. Thing on. Not a bad feeling bag, really. The back pads are definitely more than I expected, which is a good thing. But yeah, really, you know, as you can see, I'm a little bit bigger guy, and it's, it's comfortable on me. I like it. We'll go back down here. Back to the floor. So yeah, I mean, there you go. BP3 from Prodigy. Feels like a pretty, I mean... Pretty darn good bag for the price point. I um, wonder if we can zip this up with two putters. It's going to be a little tight with two putters in there to try to zip that up. So I'm not going to try. I don't want to ruin the zippers. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, pulling this out. I mean, let me put these back in here because that's definitely going to... I mean, pulling this out, I mean, here's your putter pocket here that dangles below, right here, so kind of intruding into the main compartment, and when you, if they're tilted back like that, into your back, then yeah, that's fine, but if they're upright like that, I mean, pulling a disc out is, you're trying to pull out from your putter area here which is really terrible very very terrible if there was a way to shelf that somehow or to mold that top pocket in or I guess maybe don't even use that as a putter pocket because you've got putters in here unless you absolutely need to just use that as a random pocket so it won't affect it very much because I mean all right, as you can see I mean like I showed you this is the pocket from the inside that you know discs are all over it no matter what. Pulling out from the side is not very good. You have to obviously cock them to the side and everything to get them out. So, okay, overall my opinion the price point insane at $30 ish plus shipping ish so it might be around 40 ish ish. Um, I'll have to see what everybody's selling them at and I have to see what uh, I can sell them at to actually still make a little bit of money because the dealer's price point on these, their margins are very small on these. So we'll see what they end up being in the store. You'll see. Um, price point is great. The materials feel great. The back padding is really good. The strap padding um, is pretty thin, but not bad when I wore it. Um, good handle reinforced. The bottom could be worrisome it's kind of just a like a vinyl no feet but it might hold up well drink holder is nice um, this top pocket I do not like at all just because um, it definitely intrudes into pulling your disc out if there's discs up here um, what else the u-channel divider frame all that's not even a frame it doesn't frame anything it's it doesn't even size correctly for this bag 
but I mean it does give you a little bit of separation and whatnot. So I would I would I would if it was my bag I would probably use it, but I mean you can see I can just it doesn't even mold to anything. It just kind of goes in there. I mean it doesn't fit to the bag. We we went over that at the beginning of the video. Overall, I think it's a great bag for the price. I mean, for what you're getting, this is, I mean, I wouldn't even put this in the same category as the Magellan bag. And that's, I believe that's about the only bag at this price point. I wouldn't even consider the Magellan bag with this bag on the market. Uh, durability remains to be seen, obviously. But, overall, what, what can you say? You get what you pay for, and I think you're getting quite a bit more than what you pay for on this bag, just based on the materials alone and the quantity of discs you can hold. So, I don't know. Other than that, I'm probably just going to repeat myself over and over again like I have been this whole video. So, yeah, these will be in the store shortly, or actually, probably by the time you see this video, they will be in the store. So, yeah, check them out, kwsdiscgolf.com, that's kwsdiscgolf.com. Check me out on Facebook, KW's Disc Golf. Um, I believe that's it. See ya.